Hello, my name is Brainerd Carey, and I'm giving you a short talk about persuading juries, writing for grants and awards, a little bit of a, an overview on that, a way to get an edge on that. And this is episode four of a long series, a year-long series, a weekly series of educational talks about professional development in the arts. What I've done is written these two books. I'm an author. This one's called New Markets for Artists. This is called Making It in the Art World. Both came out within the year, 2011 and 12. And I'm also a professional artist, and that's how I spend most of my time, is in the arts, um, as well as being an author and a writer. Today, what I'm going to talk to you about is how is it that when you write for a grant or an award, you get a good shot at getting it. What is it that gives you an edge when writing for a grant or when applying to some kind of juried process? If you're sending in your images for a juried show or you're applying for a cash award or a fellowship from any nonprofit organization or governmental organization, how do you write these things so that they're compelling and interesting? In brief, what I want to discuss today is how to approach a grant or an, a fellowship or some award where you have to apply for it. You probably know the New York Foundation of the Arts as, as well as eArt e Now is another great resource for looking up artist opportunities. There's many on the internet, but when you find an opportunity and you want to apply for it, whether it's to a prestigious museum or a small show in, in, in the state or country that you're in, whatever it is, Here's a few tips on how to win over the jury and make a good impression. To begin with, what you want to do is write clearly and concisely. The truth is, it isn't who you know and where you've been. It's not about going to a great school like Yale or being in, in, in great museums or having good shows. All of that is important. But the fact is that when you apply for a grant or a fellowship, you're applying to a committee, you're applying to a jury, and that jury is made up of art professionals as well as people from the community. And the way these juries are built is to, is to enable the most possible objectivity so that you can't just know somebody and get in there. The juries are designed and built. It's part of their, their protocol, actually. It's part of their, their laws of building an organization that the juries have to be very fair. What does that mean? That means you're not getting a lot of professors in there, art professors. So if you're going to write about what it is that you do in a persuasive way, and this is the key. How do you make a compelling, compelling is the word, account of what it is that you do so you get the grant? And the way you make a compelling account of what it is that you do when applying for a grant, fellowship, residency, or award of some kind is to speak clearly and concisely about what you do. No uh, big philosophy or art language about what your work is about or what you're about. Speak plainly and clearly so that if you're talking to your grandmother who knows very little about art, she would get excited and be interested in what you're saying. That is truly the idea, to write something that is interesting enough that everybody gets it. You don't have to explain your work and what it's about or, 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 or describe the meaning of it, but you have to say in a compelling way why it's interesting. So the main tip that I'd like you to take from this brief talk is to write plainly and clearly and without thinking that you have to be something that you're not. Just explain why it excites you and why it's interesting. If you can communicate why your artwork is exciting for you to make and what's fun about it, you have a chance of getting that because that's what everybody else wants to feel on the jury. All the people that represent the community and other people who are giving out this award or weighing in on it. They want to feel your enthusiasm. They want to feel your excitement. Thank you for watching this. If you want more on this, you can use the links below to like my Facebook page and you'll get more updates of this kind. There's also links to the books that I write because, of course, I'd like you to look at those. Thanks again for tuning in and thank you to Leonardo who is presenting this series on his channel. Good luck with your work.